thing is in. Sing. Found and, found and right the same thing. For the same thing. So it's just like, because sound creates light, it's a sound mind. We have a sound mind. It's made of sound. <laughs> You've just said to every word, <laughs> haven't you? But it's relevant. It's a sound mind. <laughs> and when you have a sound mind, you have light. And that's why in the Bible it says, by the entrance of his word, there was light. Let there be light. Let me hear the voice. Let me hear the music. Let me hear the symphony of light. Well, the word is not om. It's, it, that's a, one of the traditional, it's just a part of the structure. Of, because the whole, it's not even an alphabet. You know, in the 12 tree grid, we have 144 subharmonics. Right? And every subharmonic is a, is a frequency, is a sound tone that creates light, matter manifestation. So if you were to combine 144 elements of thought, which is 144 elements of sound tones, you could be, through combinations, you could create any form of matter manifestation in creation. But because we've got distorted mind through language, we're creating constantly through sound tones distortion fields that we keep on uh, seeing as a, as a you know something that's not life giving, it's dead, right? So language creates matter. Sound tones create DNA. And the harp you said or the lyre only had ten. It only had ten. Two missing. Yeah, we fell. Yeah. 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 So the ten lost yeah. tribes. You know the ten lost tribes. There were two tribes, Benjamin and um, uh, uh, Benjamin and Judah, right? Were the two tribes that were left in in Judah, mm -hmm. and the tw ten tribes of Israel went. So we need you got two strand DNA. You want to need the other ten. Got it. Well, they're in us, uh, in the junk DNA, in the undecoded reality, parts of ourselves that we're going to bring into into functionality. Mm -hmm. So make me the instrument of your song. Make me the instrument of your peace. Make me the instrument of your divine will. Make me the instrument of grace. Make me the instrument of joy. If you keep on repeating words like that to yourself, yeah. what's your body going to say? I love it. I like it. You know, it's like I am the temple of the living God. I am that one that God said I am, the radiant sun. So you just keep on making yourself into the instrument of God's will. You know, work your good works through me, O oh, Father, Mother, God, Creator, One. Have to prepare the temple. Prepare the temple for, for the coming of the Lord, the coming of Christ. It's like, this is the house of God, right? And how can God come into this temple when there's an imposter sitting on the throne, calling itself God? Right? It's the Bible. There's an imposter sitting on the throne, calling itself God. It's the, it's the false identity living in this house that thinks it is the offspring of God. It's not. It's the intruder race line programming that's given you a false ID that you think is you and it's not. So the moment you realise you want to undo that falsity and renew the reality, come, this is the house of God. Come rewrite my book of life. Make me the instrument of your grace. Make me the instrument of everything that God is, right? So that's what we are. Can I ask you the question you said about the Holy Spirit? Is it about relationships? Yeah, you can have a special relationship or a holy relationship. Yeah. Chapter 15 and 16. Yeah. So it's talking about if you have a special relationship, it means in separation from God, we have codes together that resonate, but God knows nothing about them. It's very specialized. It's separate from God. Mm. But the holy relationship is all of us are the offspring of God. If we have no secrets and nothing to hide, mm. we come back into union with God's source. We have a commonality that we can't call special because no one's special, but everyone is kind of thing. You know what I mean? So you can't have, you can't have anything special that's kept a secret. It's only between you and me. We're trying to build a unity uh, against God, and we, if we get enough members in community, maybe we'll overthrow God, right? That's what that's what a special relationship is. 
system. Buddy system. Yeah. Against source. Against the source. Yeah. Holiness. <laughs> Holiness is where we're all the one and we're still the same one. Yeah. So that's the course of miracles. Yeah. Look here, Luke. Yeah. So what do you think of Julian at the Well, I haven't seen that much of him. I, I know he's gone to... He's gone into hibernation somewhere. What, what do you call it? Um, what do you call that? No, Exile. Um, Ecuador or something. Well, sometimes they'll get uh, somebody to come out and speak something about disclosure when they're getting ready to disclose something. And like Ashiana says, uh, they've done so many atrocities to humankind over eons of time that if it was to come out, it would be such a shock to us, we couldn't handle it all at one hit. Now, if all of the disclosure of what the intruder race lines have done to us all, so it will become such a massive thing, you know, that people couldn't handle it. So maybe they just do a forerunner, a bit of a taste, let somebody leak a bit of information. It's leaking from everywhere now, whistleblowers all around the place. Yeah, yeah. And they're ready for disclosure of what's going on. Yeah. yeah. But they've got to own up to it and virtually. Yeah, well, you like to hope that it is all getting purified at that level too, don't you? I think something must be happening. Oh, yeah. Because I can hear that these perpetrators of the crimes, these black hole agents, they are really feeling the agony of their own... It's like everything's coming to an end. You know, people are not giving them freely now their power. Their, their resources are drying up and they're getting hungry and, you know, how am I going to live? How am I going to live? That's right. You're not saying China. No, no, no. I'm talking on the galaxy. It's like... For example, on the smaller scale. Yeah, it's like that's what's happening. Their resources are drying up. The banking system, they've had the interest in the usury um, just raping and pillaging the nations and suddenly the people have got no, nothing to, more to give, nothing more to give, and yet they still are in that, you know, reaping, 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 and now all of a sudden uh, it's drying up, they've got no more resources coming in, and their commanders from the black hole are saying, we want more, right? Their commanders that are commanding them to rape the people, the off-planet, so off well, you know, but the thing is, it's drying up, they're crying out, they want help. The, the intruders want help because they realise it's a finite resource. The Hillary Clinton's very worried in the Anyway, let's, let's sing the, um, the dial up. So, so page one, uh, over, yeah, two, and then we go um, three. And then we do two rounds of that. Three, sorry, three rounds of the song. Which is page four. So this is right here, B two. This sheet here. Oh, that page five. Okay. So just a little bit of explanation. Uh, these are sound tones. They're songs. They are in, an, in the Anuhazi language, which is angelic human language given 245 billion years ago to this galaxy as a Christic um, genetic program for our creation. And what we're doing is we're dialing up various stations of consciousness and parts of the Guardian Alliance that are parts of our own consciousness to get a channel of energy coming down in a true Christic flow down into us. Okay? So it's like a dial up. Well, that's the thing that... It's an, it's an English word. I mean, the English language is distorted. Any speech it's really is distorted. Though, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Okay, so let's go for it. In the name of the Melchizedek Cloister Emerald Order, Holy Order of the Unicide Sacred House of One. Now we go to the song, the Unification of the Maharata. Maharata for by vectors, enable kai unibri um by vectai. Maha by Venta, you know, you know, he stay on to his treasure, he he ra, patate um, esha long to esha into doe, 
Om Shadai Urai Akum Tun Akum Tun Om Shadai Urai Akum Tun Akum Tun Om Shadai Urai Akum Tun Now we'll see there, you see the symbol, symbol codes on the right hand side? They are pineal optical induction codes. So when you breathe them into the pineal gland in the centre of the brain, they will be mathematical encryptions to download into your template to help restructure uh, your original form. So we'll do the, uh, the words and then breathe it in, okay? Blow it down into the body. Ma'a hawete unisa heshadu. Ma'a hawete unisa heshadu. Ma'a hawete unisa heshadu. And the the code down the central column into the body. Le atore itwa to wet a niwa. Le atore itwa to wet a niwa. Le atore itwa to wet a niwa. I am the Adondra 360 now. I am the Adondra 360 now. I am the Adondra 360 now. Adondra Yesa Ushiwa Adonai. Adondra Yesa Ushiwa Adonai. Adondra Yesa Ushiwa Adonai. Ekusha Eterme Shraota Amare. Ekusha Eterme Shraota Amare. Ekusha Eterme Shraota Amare. Asu Rasha Honayetalu. Asu Rasha Honayetalu. Asu Rasha Honayetalu. Taisha into Dore, Taisha into Dore, Taisha into Dore. Now the next one is called the Son, uh, Son of Rama, the Rama Son. And this is just originally was to open up the flowering in the crystic way of the heart chakra. So what page does this do? Uh, over, so over. Over. I'll just do. Okay, yeah. thank you. <coughs> Okay, so it goes a bit like this, you guys are ready. So it's opening up the petal lotus flowering of the heart chakra in, in the crested way. Om Mate Padi Om Di Ayo 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 Om Mate Padi Om Di Tu Encha Asia Nita Deo Om Mate Padi Om Di Ayo Om Mate Padi Om Di And the next lot go down to this part here, which is we call the command for initial encryption, etc. It goes, A shalom etu enta, A shalom et sida ne utsa, A shalom da ita orum ishu, Sade unit jeshwa di. Now, when we do the Crystal River Prayer, there is an insertion of the new uh, council. It's called the, uh, in the Christic name and action of the Alhumbra Magistracy Councils of Comunias, Comunias and God Source First Eternal. Now, this, was come, this has come in to correct the green and violet reverse spin to put actually in command a new Christic flow, which is blue and white. Okay? Nice. Yeah. Okay, so when we do the dialogue, there's three places we're going to insert that, and I'll just read it out and you can sort of acknowledge it if you like. So let's go for the um, next part. Okay, the Aquarian Crystal River Prayer, okay? The Aquarian Crystal River Prayer and Invocation for Crystal River Activation and Amplification. Part 1. Um Sate Rehavea Um Crystalo. The Crystal River Prayer Sanctification. Diva in Ture, Easter in Tabo. Rehavaya um Crystalo. 
Councils of Cosminias and God's Source First Eternal. Here we go to the next one. Cum sa e ho drete ta ut aurore. Bendi duro ameja ut aurore aquion. Bendi hale isha nua ut aurore aquion. Bendi rame rathagentu ut aurore aquion. And we sing the English. In here, it's called the Crystal River Prayer. Pray. Bring forth now the Crystal River of eternal first creation. Bring forth now the healing waters of the Egon's Om Shadi. Bring forth now the gentle wind song of the sacred unison. Bring forth here the radiant starlight of the eternally starborn. Let the crystal river flow unto my doorstep. Let the crystal river cleanse and heal my soul. May the crystal river love song all embracing. Emerge now from my Christ and crystal core to softly call me home. Divari to re ista in tao re have Council of Comos Minyas and God Source First Eternal. We'll carry on. In the name of the Mashayahana Council of Aquarium. In the name of the Councils of Crystal A. In the name of the Councils of Crystal River. In the name of the Councils of Aurora. We call upon the Christiac powers of the Sha'aga Amor, Eternal Wind Song. We call upon the Christian powers of the Jaethe Dura, eternal flame of divine fire. We call upon the Christian powers of the Ayakwea, 
eternal water flow. We call upon the Christian powers of the Ethelaya Crystalline, eternal foundation stone. We call upon the Christian powers of the Pintapur Chalet, eternal fire ice eaters. We now command with the entrusted powers of Aurora Life. We now invoke the eternal Christ of Sun to co-create, release and renew this place. Our bodies right here in the space-time. Every incarnation we've had in space-time matrices, every vector line, event horizon, all of the aspects of our stepped-down God self into many members ensconced in matter. Every moment of our journey of building living memory, every decision, every point of action of our bodies. We look now from our very high perspective outside of time found through all the transit lines of time and space into those moments of decision making and action. And as we observe now those parts of our consciousness that are separated from source as a dead light structure, we now call for the Regenesis and the Shalaya living light structure to join those dead dying particles back into perpetual motion with God's source, that we might regenerate our living memory and dissolve all space-time partitions of dead light that hold us away from the true knowledge of self-identity. We now declare in eternal sanctification this space, this land, and all within into the Christian protection herein set, that the spirit of Earth Asala rise, the power of Earth Asala heal, and the wisdom of Earth Asala here within preside, in the name of the eternal Christ of first creation, and by the divine vehicle of the Reha Vea or Christalo, in co creative Christ embrace with absolute humility, absolute love and absolute forgiving, and only in absolute service to the eternal Christ and its ever-loving healing devotion to all life everywhere, we banish now from this sacred place all that is unwilling to receive the absolute cleansing of the crystal aid within the covenants of divine right order and divine right timing as only eternal God source can know. In loving Christian service, we offer release and host arrangement to all those present who are in need and seek to heal within the sacred cleansing field of Earth Asala and the eternal divine flows of the Reha Vea Um Christ alone. In Christian reverence, joy and gratitude for the unceasing love and mercy of the one source most divine, we end now and complete this Christian sanctification and so is right of reclamation. In the name of the one true source, God eternal, in the name of the Christ divine, in the name of the Reha the Alhum Christ alone. Hold it there. In the name of the Alhumbra Magistracy Councils of Cosminihas and God Source First Eternal. Carry on now. In the name of the Vashayahana Council of Aquarium. In the name of the Councils of Crystal Lake, in the name of the Councils of Crystal River, in the name of the Councils of Aurora, in the name of the Melchizedek Cloister and Emerald Order, Holy Order of the Unicide, Sacred House of One, and in the name of your spiritual name, <laughs> the Eternally Christian, I am this I am. Ta'esha inter dore, ta'esha inter dore, ta'esha inter dore. Now we'll just finish with three rounds of the Son of Aurora. This one here. So it's on both sides of the sheet. There we are. And on the other side as well. Is everyone got it there? Okay. Okay.
And this is called the I Am Prayer. Okay, let's go for it. I am the child of the original one. I am the ray of the original sun. I am wholeness. I am love. I am the truth that stands the sands of time. I am the rainbow of the very first shine. I am music. I am light. Let the light descend upon me. Guide the way with golden light. No other God will stand before me as I embrace the one true life. I was born to live by the will of the original one. I am a face of the original God. I am a voice of the original sound. I am a wave upon the ocean of eternal light. I reach my arms up to the heavens and say I am, this I am. The presence of the Ancient One springs forth in my command. I am one with God. coming in. 
right? The waves are coming in just constantly flowing in and regenerating, restructuring. So there's something given in the energy of that when it came in as a transmission. That's what we found with this work. There are so many supporting layers, um, layers of original consciousness that are coming back in and reconnecting all the way down through our templates and building us, yeah, building, us building us, building us, building us. So we're connecting into those hosts. It's a hosting system. We can't get out with the fallen structure, the fallen matrix. We can't get out through this fallen matrix. But there's a hosting matrix. Matrix means mind, it means mother, it means a womb. Right? The womb is the matrix. It's, it's what births something. The womb of your mind births your identity. The higher matrix or mother above, greater and greater, as you go through more and more veils, you're being a bigger and bigger mother that births a bigger and bigger identity. Mm, so right. the aura around the earth is the womb? There is a certain womb. Or is it inside the earth? Well, I mean, it's like inside your womb, you birth your children. Mm -hmm. They come out into this bigger womb called the womb of the earth. And the womb of the earth will birth them into a bigger reality. Galaxy womb. And then it'll go into the solar womb, into the galactic, into the metagalactic, into the universal, into the cosmic, into multi-cosmic, into on and on and on. Right? And back to the all? Back to the all oneness in your self-identity re reality. So you're always being birthed into a bigger womb. So mother is mind, is matrix. So there's a false mother birthing a false identity through a false seed. Right? The seed of the serpent or the intruder race lines has fertilized this earth with a false seed and created a false matrix or mind. And so we're being birthed in a false womb. So to the, to the host is the pure organic mother and the inner voice or the seed that you hear inside of you is your internal reality now joining into that new mother so is that the virgin mother maybe? it'd be like a virgin mother it'd be like a pure undefiled mind and the defiled mind is the matrix that controls this distorted body it's being dissolved as you connect into the host and as you bring your inner kingdom through as you bring your DART planes, you, you, this way the deification process is receiving the inner worlds, what we call the echo worlds, echo world of the God maps, the echo maps of the God worlds. It's like this, between the atoms and between the particles, there's other worlds in top, inside, internally. That's why when we're fully expanded out into the fullness of expansion, we then expand internally into the inner worlds. We expand internally. So the internal realms are joining with the outer realms, they can't do it in the fallen matrix, but they can have a host matrix that'll create the imagery so that your internal realities can marry the outer real realities mm. and dissolve the false reality that we're carrying about now as a distortion. So that's the inner planes? The inner planes is the deity planes. It's the inner God currents, the God force, God source currents of the inner worlds. Where the masters live? Well, that's just your original identity flowing through to you. The masters are external realities of manifestation but not the masters that we're channeling here they are distortion fields the true masters are those that have come out of time out of the liquid you know the pre-matter liquid light into what we call the rishi or the uh, fully ascended uh like maha rishi kind of think technology coming out into the beyond matter and when you go beyond matter then you go into the inner worlds so you've got to fully ascend in the outer worlds, and then you go to the inner worlds. And it's called the return cycle into the God source, and it's called Adashi return cycles. Your particle universe goes through Adashi, your antiparticle goes through Akashi. So your particle universe self is what you see here. Your antiparticle self is existing in the same space, different rotation, slightly different time cycle. The atoms are passing through each other. Right? The creation point door is the God source that harmonizes particle anti particle manifestation right? so when you go back into God's source you're actually marrying all the parts of yourself together return into God's source and that means you've been out to the outer into the inner and you've experienced all of those matrices of self-identity it's like an in-breath and an out-breath but there's also a still point breath which is the God's source a still point breath they're found the God's source particle oh, in Switzerland particle. that's what they I think, think they have they discovered what are we going to do with it <laughs> <laughs> That's a worry. 
Yeah. 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 Well, we meant to try and prove we should be able to do something. Yeah. Maybe we don't have to return to God's source, we can do it ourselves. Right? <laughs> uh. mm, I wonder how long all that's going to Well, you know when they opened up that um, Hadron Collider in CERN, Switzerland, you know, they, they got the Hadron yes. Collider. Yes. When they opened that up, the scientists said they could see it opening up and there was all these gremlins and ghouls and all sorts of things on the other side of the black hole looking in. So when they opened, when they opened it up, they let a whole of those guys in. Right? <laughs> 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 oh dear. So the of those the <laughs> So scientists mucking around trying to gain artificial life. Yeah. Oh, it must be after five, I think. It's ten to six. Do you reckon we should knock off? Oh, yes. Uh, I mean, if we're going to have dinner at um, the ashram, <laughs> 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 we'll have